program today is about, you know, understanding your spouse when it comes to uh, finances, and men and women are different. Women need security. It's the number one need that women have, and we're very different, but men need honor. Mm -hmm. And so for, for a man, uh, many times, and there, there are men who are security oriented and related to saving and things like that, but, but the main thing is men want to have the significance of knowing that they're being a good provider, that what they're doing is being appreciated by their wives, but women need mm -hmm. to know that their husband's going to be a faithful financial provider and faithful to them and that uh, the, the finances are going to be taken care of properly. Well, I, we, we've talked about this because in this show, when they talk about how some women are raised now, some girls are raised now with... Uh, the emphasis being on get an education, make sure that you can support yourself because you can't trust a man to always be there. Right. You know, and I mean, that automatically puts within a woman uh, just a thought of, oh my gosh, how scary. You know, and so your dependency is upon your career, on your college education, instead of what you have as a man and a woman uh, in, in God. Yeah. You know, and fortunately I wasn't raised that way, but um, I know a lot of people today are, and, and I, there's good reason. I mean, a lot of women are being left, you know, and there's so much divorce right now, and they, it does leave them in a very uh, scary spot. The conversation that a lot of families are having with their daughters is get an education, have your own career, because you can't trust a man. Mm -hmm. Don't become dependent upon a man. And unfortunately, it's true. We, we know of circumstances where uh, women have become very dependent upon their husbands only to have their husbands leave them when they're in their 40s mm -hmm. or 50s and they have children and and they're very very vulnerable and uh, families need to be having conversations with their sons saying you be faithful to your wife mm -hmm. not just sexually but financially faithful and that means when when uh, and many women are working outside the home today and that that's great but women still need to be domestically centered women are happier when mm -hmm. they're domestically centered and many husbands want their wives to be more domestically centered but for that to happen you know, you've got to step up and just say, you can become dependent upon me and I won't take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, Karen, for uh, us as an example of this, is that over the years you, you, you know, raised our children at home, you took care of the home, mm -hmm. you did all those mm -hmm. kinds of things like that. Well, the more you did of that and the older you got, you're not old, but I mean, the <laughs> older me. you got <laughs> is that the, the more dependent you become on me because yeah. I'm the breadwinner. Well, mm -hmm. what that means is I have a tremendous responsibility not to take advantage of that mm -hmm. and not to hold it over your head. And, and honestly, the healing that needs to come in our, in our nation, and it's, it's a healing, is where men are faithful and where men stop being you know, unfaithful, not just mm -hmm. sexually to their wives, mm -hmm. but, but to let them become dependent or, and then to walk out the door and all of a sudden the wife is devastated. When, when divorce occurs, women are much more devastated than men financially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men may see a little bit of difference financially, Women are devastated financially. And so the, the need for security that women has, uh, women have in marriage related to money mm -hmm. is men meet that need by saying, you can depend on me mm -hmm. and I won't let you down. For better, for worse, mm -hmm. for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, I'm in this marriage state. And we know that there's a lot of people watching where the woman does work. You know, and it's a mutual agreement that it's okay that she's working. It's not so much that it's she's working or not working. It's the, the fact that no matter what, you know, we're here together. Mm -hmm. We're going to make this thing to work. And, you know, it's, you know, I, I love the way money plays, can play such a, a good thing, bad thing in a marriage. Because, honestly, when you come down and get the skills right of just the, the money language, learning each other, learning to respect, I mean, money can be such a blessing in a relationship. Sure. You know, it doesn't have to be that volatile. I can remember so many times, you know, oh my gosh, I dreaded us talking about money. Oh, I did too. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh, do we have to talk about this? You know, and, and you would do your stonewalling and I would do, you know, the passive aggressive stuff. And um, I mean, I just dreaded it. And now, you know, and, and I've always been able to take care of the finances because I, I worked at a bank. And so I knew how to do the checkbook. I knew. And, and, and that's what you do, mm -hmm. and it's great because we agree on everything. Yeah, but you do and a so great job I didn't it. have a fear of, you know, taking care of it or dealing with it or all that. It's just that you were and I were so different, and um, and I remember you you get that you know come in here and we need to talk. It's like no, I don't want to talk because I knew this money <laughs> thing would come up, and, and it would just freak me out. And so, um, but I, I remember the, the the more we started learning the skills of what it really meant that it wasn't. 
we, we were such a, a, an attacker of each other as far as the person being the who our fan, finances was instead of refil, figuring out that our finances were a separate issue for who we were. That's exactly right. You know, and once we mm -hmm. began to respect, you know, the fact that, yeah, you see it differently, it doesn't make you, you know, weird, like, you know, you used to call me weird. And, and but, you know, once we started talking it through, I'll never forget the freedom we got when we did a, um, a vision retreat. Right. And we did that vision retreat and we were talking and, and I remember I dreaded that subject coming up. And, but we sit there and it was so neat because you said, okay, let's pray about it. And so we both prayed about it separately. And then we came together and we said, what are we gonna agree on? And I thought, okay, this, this might be able to work because no longer were we trying to enforce what the other person wanted. We were finally coming to a place where we could learn to agree on, on what would make us both really happy. Well, and that's the entire issue, mm -hmm. Karen, is it's a partnership. Yeah. And we both have something to give and, and again, I'm. In our family, I'm the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. You know, I work, but but that's just one part of what I do. You manage our money. You mm -hmm. do a great job managing our money, but you're also a very good money manager as it relates to mm -hmm. spending. You're very wise and, and those types of things. And we have to understand for men and women, we both have something to bring to the table. We're partners, but also we both have different needs. We see money differently. And when you, you marry your opposite, and when you're doing your best in marriage, it just means you're a team and you respect each other and you're making your best decisions when you're making your decisions together. When you're at your worst financially in marriage, it means you're judging each other, you're shaming each other, you're trying to control each other, you're in a battle the way Karen and I mm -hmm. used to. You can have financial intimacy in marriage, but you just need to understand that your spouse is different and learn to talk mm -hmm. and learn to pray and things like that. Thank you for joining us. Experience the life-changing series, You, Me, and Money, on CD or DVD. Follow your interests and get social by connecting with Jimmy and Karen and the Ministry of Marriage Today on Twitter. Happy Happy Love will supercharge your marriage with practical tips, wisdom, and inspiration for every stage of marriage. Visit happylovebook.com. Looking for your next great book? Start reading instantly with Marriage Today's eBooks, now available online. Marriage Today's latest book, Lifelong Love Affair, is an essential tool couples can turn to again and again for inspiration and strength. Order your copy today. Become a rock solid partner today and equip yourself with the tools you need for a successful marriage. $14, $28, or $56 per month. Choose the partnership level that's right for you. Become a rock solid partner today.